so yeah, I'm just going to stroll through this side of Toronto towards downtown Toronto. Probably it's going to take like half an hour, but I don't mind. So yeah, basically know all of these streets now. We made it all the way back to Union Station already in about 20 minutes from the, what's it called again? Historic Distillery District. That's it. <laughs> yeah, so I can see CN Tower still. Made it all the way here without using Google Maps or my phone or anything. So I'm basically from Toronto. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Although you can see the CN Tower from anywhere, so I don't know where I'm going. But yeah, I'm just walking outside Union Station now. And you definitely see as well that everything is just so much clearer without all that fog that was there last time. And outside Union Station, there's this Lego thing. Don't know what they're doing. Looks like they're building some projects, one brick at a time. So I just overheard them say that they're in the midst of making the biggest Lego mural. So didn't think I'd see that today either. Didn't know I'd see that. Didn't even know that was a thing. Say, but I didn't even expect it to be this high. It doesn't look as high, but even with the when we were going up the lift, I was going up so quickly, my ears were popping, and I wasn't mentally prepared for the heights that we're at. But it looks amazing, but it just looks amazing to be this high. Having all of those high rise apartments, and I'm just looking out over it, so even like straight over there now. On the other side of this massive, massive, massive Lake Ontario is New York State. So let's drive all the way around it just to get to New York State before we could get to New York City. And we even see the place that I just bought the details from. And I can finally see an ice rink. So I've got a little to skate before I leave Canada. It has to happen.
yeah, I've got a time of here to spend, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around the entire section on this level. Just take you with me as a walk around because there's restaurants, so there's more than just the sight scene based, there's the experience as well. But then I've got a ticket to this sky pod as well, so I'm going to try and head it, which is even higher. <laughs> so let me get mentally prepared for that. Bro, did I ever tell you guys that I'm scared of heights? <laughs> and I still always push myself to do stuff like this. This is different, man. Heights. This is the highest point that you can see. I just stepped on one of those little things that's on the floor that covers like plug sockets, but it made a little <laughs> sound. <laughs> so I stepped on it not knowing that it was there, and I was just like, wait, <laughs> is something falling? Oh my days, my heart is racing. <laughs> but we're still alive, so I didn't even realize that we were that much higher than the general ignition area. Man, I need to go back down there and get some wavy picks still. I'm actually scared of heights. <laughs> My heart is pounding. You know, so despite being scared of heights, I'm still up here. Alright, so I'm up here, top of the CN Tower. And I wanna wait a bit. I wanna wait until there's like sea life, skylights, stuff like that. Just so I can get more pictures. But I thought in the meantime it's been on my heart in a way to just try and do a, a video or a vlog based on university motivation and how to stay motivated whilst you're at university because I feel like for the majority of the time I'm very good at staying motivated and it sort of radiates off me in a way where people around me ask me for advice on how to stay motivated to do work or just to even stay in uni because let's be real, university is a hard thing, it's all about mental labor. Whilst I'm high up here, whilst I'm high up here <laughs> and high on inspiration, I just thought, let me just do a quick little vlog on university motivation. passing the baton onto my parents and my parents passing the baton onto me. So it's all about progressing, like bringing the family name to a higher status basically. That's what I think of it as. So that motivates me a lot because I know my grandparents have sacrificed a lot, my parents have sacrificed a lot, just like so I can even be a black Caribbean male student at the University of Birmingham who's currently on a year abroad. Like, who would have thought that me, Dwight Wilson? Boom, the lights just came on. <laughs> Yeah, who would have thought that I would be able to be in Canada right now at the top of the CN Tower after traveling here by myself? So cool, I literally just filmed a video that's going to come out next week. Which is going to be a video based on how I stay motivated through university. So if you're at university, or if you're kind of moving on to university, or even if you're like post grad or whatever, then look out for that video. But it's amazing because whilst I was up here, <laughs> you would have noticed the sun has set now. So it probably took me like 15 minutes to just film that quick little video, spontaneous video. The lights in the city have come on. 
the nightlife is open. <laughs> like the sun literally set. Even the CN Tower lights came on and off whilst I was up here filming. I don't even know how long I've been up here in the sky park, not even in the general admission section. But I'm just loving the views despite being scared of heights. Yeah, so today's been a great day. Managed to be able to tick off the Toronto Christmas Market, the historic distillery district. He has said it first time. And obviously I've been to the CN Tower, which was top two on my kind of a bucket list. So today's been amazing and I'm just so happy right now. Despite the huge amount of essays and assignments that I've got due soon. <laughs> but yeah, all I've got to do now is just head back to Christmas Market to get back on the bus to head back to Peterborough so that I can get back to university. But yeah. But just to make sure that it was worth it, leave a comment below, like the video, just to say that it was worth me walking all the way from East Toronto to downtown Toronto to bring you not one but two videos because, as I said, university advice video is coming next week, Thursday. So yeah, I think it's been a productive day in terms of vlogging. And yeah, I've just been happy with everything. But this is a sign out from D Timothy. Hope you've enjoyed it. I thought I felt movement just then. Yeah, it's been great, man. Conquered, conquering fears out there. It's Timothy.